After you've successfully installed Mapify Pro, you're going to notice three different tabs that have appeared on your WordPress installation. Most importantly, you'll see Map Locations, The Maps, which is where you organize, edit, and add new maps to your site, and then Mapify Pro, which is down here towards the bottom, and that is responsible for the bulk uploading of all locations via C CSV file, like a spreadsheet. So um, we're going to we're going to start with the map locations tab. So we'll just click there. And you'll notice that I have all of my locations and we're looking at the demo site now. So this is the back end of mapifypro.com. Um, and you can see I have a ton of locations and each of these locations has its own settings, its own uh, pinpoints and its own specific um, very specific settings that set each each location apart from the other. So if you go and click on one of those, I'll run you through the details of a map location. Um, right here, of course, it's set up just like any other uh, WordPress post that you might be familiar with, or you should be familiar with. Um, it's it's typical layout, so you have your title here, your content. Uh, which is going to appear in the pop-up and then you have your your settings and they are organized into three different sections you have general settings gallery settings google maps mode and sorry it's four settings image mode settings down here at the bottom so if we just run through those quickly under general settings this is where you tell just the the very basics uh, you set, you choose your map, which you have, uh, in this case, we've previously created the map already. Uh, I'm going to choose demo Google map, which is what I named the map uh, for the demo site, uh, the Google version. Uh, clicking on these, you'll see changes the map tags, which are already associated with the map. Now this is the dropdown that appears uh, with the map filtering. Uh, that is enabled on your map and I'll show you an example of that in a second But as you can see by changing my setting here my selection on my map It changes the map tags to reflect what I have applied in the map when I created it and I'll cover that next So if we want to see an example of this, let's see add a legend to Google Maps. Let's scroll down go to Google mode and You can see here's the giant pinpoint. I applied for this one and here is where the description appears. So this description is appearing right here along with the title. Let's go ahead and close that. Now let's go down the page and I'll tell you a little bit about each setting um, a little bit more. Uh, the enable pop-up is if you want, obviously, if you want to include a pop-up, sometimes you don't want the gallery to pop up. So if, you, if I had that set to no, I would only get the tooltip and not the gallery. The tooltip here is the custom tooltip content that appears under the title in your tooltip. The pin image is the pinpoint image that overrides Google's default pinpoint. So it could be pretty much any custom graphic that you want. And you can see I got a little creative here with these with the map legend, um, kind of enhancing Google Maps here, uh, which would require you to fix the Google Maps zoom level. And, you know, anything you can come up with, I have a pinpoint for, uh, that's where you would upload that. Gallery settings, this is for a video embed code. Of course, the embed code from Google, or uh, sorry, YouTube or Vimeo would go here. It wouldn't be the URL, it would be the embed code. That would, that would display the video in this space. Uh, which of course is blank here because I haven't added that just yet. So video description would add a small subtitle which would appear down below your gallery to kind of give a hint as to what you can expect. And now here we have images. Uh, this is where you would upload all images to your gallery. Now let's, let's go to one that has uh, some photos already added so I can show you an example of that. We'll just open that up. You can see I've added a video and uh, quite a few images to this gallery just to kind of show it off. Now, by uploading them here, um, 
Mapify will automatically crop everything and it will create these thumbnails down here uh, to make it a little bit more organized and even this kind of gallery effect that lets you sort through the different gallery photos that you've included on your pop-up. Now this one has a, quite a long um, description here which you can see up at the top, well you would see which would be here if we went to that location. Um, let's just go ahead, specific galleries. Find that one right here. So it fully lets you add as many photos as you want under the gallery settings. And um, once that loads, I will show you how these images appear after you've added them. You simply um, select your media, just what you're familiar with. If you've used uh, WordPress, you do it using uh, the WordPress's default interface to upload these images. It makes it really easy. So if we move along, let's go to the Google Maps mode settings. Now, if I've selected Google Maps mode from my initial settings here, this is the area I want to adjust. Um, this is where I place my pinpoint by double clicking, or I can enter a specific address to anywhere um, and it will automatically add it. Uh, the double clicking is nice because it, of course, isn't tied down to an address. So. Um, if you have a Google Maps, that's where you'll do that. Now, if you're using image mode like I am in this particular setting, I will adjust my settings here. Um, as far as filtering goes, uh, geolocation um, is already implemented into Google mode, so the search is going to be automatic by zip code. You set a radius by um, how, how far away you want that search to be as far as miles go in your in your location settings um, or I'm sorry in your map settings so image mode you have to have a little a, a bit more tricky because obviously there aren't actual images in these or uh, I'm sorry zip codes in these images so you enter those by hand as far as a city and zip and that allows someone to type in a zip code like here I have Dayton uh, for the city. So if I type in Dayton and hit enter, that's going to filter out this result here. I can also refresh it. And if I want to do the zip code, which I have 45005, hit enter, and that also filters it. Um, and again, you can reset it. And this is all implemented into uh, the filtering also, the filtering versus searching, it really allows you to to uh, create a very interactive map, whether in Google or in search mode uh, or um, in image mode. So um, that covers that. That's pretty much a big overview of the map locations. So next up, we are going to go to the maps page and see how we set that up.